Hello everyone, welcome back to Best Chat with me Manisha. Today I have an interesting as well as fun video for you. Today we will learn about how to stress on words to convey meaning or importance of that word in a sentence. How this will help you? This will help you sound like a native speaker and you would sound fluent as well when you speak in English. So let's go. Just before we go ahead, don't forget to hit the subscriptions button and the bell icon. I'm going to give you just one sentence and we are going to focus on each word in the sentence to convey the meaning differently each time we stress on one particular word. Let's look at the sentence. I never said that she stole the money. I never said that she stole the money. Now in this sentence, we are first going to stress on I. Now what is a word stress? All that you do in a word stress is you say that word strongly. When I say strongly, I mean to say I stress on that word, meaning I say it loudly and I put a little more pressure on that word. Right? So for example, I'm going to now stress on the first word that is I. I never said that she stole my money. I never said that she stole my money. Here I'm stressing on the word I. Now look at the meaning. The meaning changes over here when I say I never said that she stole my money. What I mean to say is it's not me who has said this that she has stolen my money. It must be somebody else. So when you stress a particular word it conveys a different meaning or a particular meaning. So now let's look at a stress on the second word. I never said that she stole my money. Now look at the word never. When you stress on this word never, it conveys a different meaning again. I never said that she stole my money. Means I didn't say it in the past. I didn't say it now or never ever. I have never said that she stole my money. Now let us stress on the third word in the sentence. I never said that she stole my money. I never said that she stole my money. Meaning, I never said it. Maybe I have written it somewhere or maybe I have just thought about it but I did not say it. You're getting it, right? How you are conveying the message or conveying the meaning in a sentence when you stress on particular words. All right, let's move on. Now let us stress on the next word. I never said that she stole my money. I never said that she stole my money. I may be referring to somebody else, but I didn't particularly say that she stole my money. Right? So look at how the meaning is conveyed when you stress on different words. Now the next word. I never said that she stole my money. I never said that she stole my money. Maybe she had just kept it somewhere or she had just seen it, but she did not steal the money. I don't mean to say that she stole the money, right? Now let us look at the next word stress. I never said that she stole my money. I never said that she stole my money. Now look at the stress on the word my. What I mean here is maybe she has stolen somebody's money. I didn't say that she stole my money. Right? Okay. Now let us stress on another word. I never said that she stole my money. I never said that she stole my money. Well now here I am stressing on money. I don't mean to say that she has stolen my money. She must have stolen something else. Like she has stolen anything else. But she has not stolen my money.
So we saw that how we stress on different words convey different meaning and this helps in sounding more clear and rapid in your speech. So all you need to do is keep practicing daily with the sentences that you need to use during your conversation. So I'm going to give you some sentences for practice which will help you to stress on different words in a sentence and convey different meanings. You can also do it with any sentence that you have in English. Let's look at the sentences. I stayed at my sister's house. Mary's hair is longer than Anne's. We didn't see the beginning of the film. Do you know the cause of the problem? Will you sell my car because I've gone to France? You can sit in the back of the car. So I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video and if you have, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Keep practicing the sentences the way we just learned today in this video. It will help you big time improve your fluency and you would speak rapidly just like native speakers. Keep watching more and keep learning more. Bye for now and happy watching.